mofo. <laughs> Those gays are on their balcony marinating turkeys again. No. Ah, oh, that's the worst. No! Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush. Thank you so much for joining us. Are you ready to get more uncomfortable than piss-soaked trousers? Nope. <laughs> or a little bit aggravated? Yeah, we're gonna get a little uh, aggravated and uncomfortable, starting with this. Testing a katana from the AliExpress. Oh, that is just not what you want to see with a katana swing. <laughs> I want to see a nice clean slice. That is infuriating. These custom dice, one, three, four, five, six, well, wait, one, two. Is oh. it because the color? No, it's probably just where the dots are just all hand dot in there. Oh. Made. But that's kind of what you're looking for, right? And like custom dice like that, you want them to be a little quirky. I don't know, it doesn't. I kind of like so it, honestly. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I don't know if I one. like it. That I wouldn't put it that far, but. It doesn't pass the infuriating scale. No. What? Hmm. You have to wonder what the decision was to do that. Why we decided to just turn it sideways there. Even the soap dispensers on the rock, like. On, in on all, all of them the, are different. And then the, that one on the end has the taller. All of spout. the fixtures are different too. <laughs> yeah, that's. That, 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 that hurts my soul that's a lot. tough that's tough my dad does this to avoid cutting pepperoni <laughs> oh my god what are you gonna hurt the pepperoni's what? feelings you afraid of a half a pepperoni or a sliver Dude, of pepperoni it's so much harder to avoid pepperonis than just to cut a piece of normally and then they immediately go into your mouth and get masticated so that's gotta be like an OCD type of thing, maybe? I, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if that's so funny. I repositioned the pepperoni before I bake it to be able to straight line cut it without cutting the pepperoni. I thought I was psychotic, but this is level two. Nah, the premeditated one is way more psychotic, I agree. Pepperoni is okay to be cut. After eating two of these blueberry oh. waffles, I went to heat up two more and saw that the package was for plain waffles. That looks exactly like a blueberry waffle. Kind of does, Yeah, that's but crazy. You. Thanks for Some playing. Some people do that on purpose, so. Some people eat mold on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, it's like what? Because like penicillin comes from mold. They think it has some sort of medical, medicinal qualities. Yeah. Everyone's got a certain level of tolerance for mold. And I'm curious what you guys think at home. Zero. You're, my wife is the type, and you guys might be like this too. Expiration dates are hard and fast. Doesn't matter what it is. If it is the day of or 15 seconds after that shit goes in the trash, no matter what. I'm more of a expiration dates are a loose guide type of guy. You know, like if it's a dairy product, I'm a little more hard and fast, but Very much. if it's like an unopened single serve yogurt, two, three days past the expiration, that baby's probably fine, right? Mm -hmm. Hasn't been exposed to the oxygen. If it's like a canned processed food and it's like a, got a, a month as an expiration, whatever the month is, dude, that thing's good for like a year after. You can eat that shit. Expiration dates, I think for a lot of products are literally just a marketing scam to get people to throw out before you have to, so they buy more. Like medicine? <laughs> what? Who cares? Ibuprofen expired seven Wait, years whoa, whoa, whoa. ago? No medicine? problem. <laughs> I don't. That's a different story. I don't know. Some of it loses efficacy, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, I wanted to get back to the mold thing, though. If the whole thing's moldy and obviously gross, throw it out. But if you're just at that point where it's turning and you have a nice couple pieces of bread with just like two spots of mold, you can just pick those babies so off. So would you eat that waffle? No, that's that is permeated the waffle. But if you're like having a like a oh, like a hamburger bun, it's like oh, I don't want to not want to eat this burger without a bun. And there's just a little mold on that. Just pick it right off. You're good to go. Pick around it. I would not do that. Curious where you guys fall. Like, could you pick around some mold, or would you get disgusted and throw it out at the second of seeing it? Two to three times a week, I collect syringes from my balcony. This is how my super old neighbor is trying to get me evicted, as she believes that my roommate and I are gay. And she thinks all oh, gay people are drug addicts. Uh, first of all, lady, no one's doing 20 mil syringes for drugs. Let me just put that out there. Unless you're shooting a horse up with tranquilizer, no one's using a 20 ml syringe. <laughs> Secondly, what the f I love the first comment. What is she think you're injecting with those huge syringes? Those gays are on their balcony marinating turkeys again. <laughs> That's my favorite comment because you could definitely use that to help inject them. Uh, yeah, fire and absolutely. Into the turkey. Those are definitely for injecting turkeys. Wait. What? Oh, there we go. When my wife swats my hand to get one. I, we've definitely seen this uh, before. I know, we've seen this, yeah. But. I mean, my significant other throws her daily contacts behind the headboard of our bed. So we've seen this before, but we now have a situation with Leon's mouth tape next to our bed. First of all, how are you going to expose me for taping my mouth while I sleep? So we'll, hey, listen, yeah. I'll post a picture to the internet of you with your mouth tape let on, the, right? Let the internet know that I like taking care of myself. Anyone who follows any sort of like life maxing podcast like Huberman knows that nose breathing while you sleep is good for your health. 
Helps with your snoring, helps with oxygenation of your blood. There's a million, a myriad of reasons why it's good. And I am traditionally a wide open, gaped mouth sleeper. And since I've been taping my mouth, I felt much more rested and better in the mornings. The night said it doesn't fall off and I'm There's gaped. a piece of black tape over his mouth and it yeah. always ends up just on the floor, on the nightstand. I disagree. In I'm, the bed, I, on my effing pillow. I'm pretty good about take, lately taking it off and putting it on the nightstand. There are times where it finds its way like- But not the in the trash. No, then when I get up, I get, I've been throwing it out like daily. It's been daily I've been doing it. I've been really good about it lately. Really good about weekly, it. Weekly, bi-weekly. This is gonna be like that who takes out the trash conversation. Oh, the last oh, week. the oh, the most priceless thing was that after we had that who takes out the trash conversation that very week, you forgot and I got up and did it. Yeah, but then I got up and did the recycling because they hadn't come yet and I would have been able to do it with plenty of time. But we don't know. Sometimes they come early. It doesn't always have to be done the night before, I'm just saying. When you spend quality time with your seven-year-old son working on his dinosaur diorama for school, but your wife comes home and says, this looks horrible. Well, that's not very nice. What type of woman would ever say that about a son project their son worked on? First of all, that looks f fire. I couldn't do any better. I think maybe it's the box choice that was problematic. <laughs> oh, because... They put it in the lid? Yeah, there it is. That's so what it was. So good luck picking it up? It's not about the wife's comment. That took it's me way fact, too long to yeah, figure it's out. It's the fact that they can't bring it because, come on, you got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> got it. They misdirected me with that. They, they, they made it about, they hysterectomy with that. Excuse you? They made it about the wife's comment in my brain, but it's really that they did it upside down on the lid. Now how are you going to transport that? Got it. Purposely taking something satisfying and making it extremely unsatisfying. Trigger those people with that, yeah. <laughs> no CD trigger. Yeah. When it comes to like cleaning things or squeegeeing things, send this to your friends to trigger them. That looks delicious. Ah. Huh? Uh, I typically don't have triggers. Or I don't have. I don't have actual triggers. <laughs> But one of my icks is the way when people open snack bags, right? Okay. A lot of snack bags, they have like the little tear thing on the top and you tear it down the side and there's like no telling how far down the side of the bag it's gonna go. Nine times out of 10, you tear it and it goes like three quarters of the way down. Then it's impossible to fucking refold the thing and close it. It's so stupid. So no matter whether there's a tear tab or not, you pinch, pinch, pull. So you open the glue seam at the top and then it's easy to stick your hand in, get the... The other problem is when you do the thing, tear thing, it goes down the side, you're like fishing it's your hand in. Out. It rips open more when you don't want it to because it's just a disaster. So one, there's a particular, what is it? Smart Pop popcorn always has the tear thing on top. Boom Chicka Pop. No, Boom Chicka Pop. Yeah, one of the popcorn brands we like. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And every time Mrs. Lush opens it, she does the tear thing because her feeble little wrists are too weak to open the thing normally. And I have to deal with this bullshit like gaping hole in the popcorn bag so, that is impossible to reclose, rips more when I'm trying to get the popcorn, and I can't live like this anymore! I guess I'll stop buying popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm more likely to either A, yes, use the little rip tab, or B, I would use scissors, because I'm crazy. That's the other thing, I yeah. Like scissors. She always uses, even when there is a rip tab, she'll still cut it. And this, it's even worse because you use the scissors so it's an even cut, but it's not even big enough to stick my mitts into. Well, yeah, because like I'm big not enough. opening the popcorn for you. I'm opening the popcorn or whatever Man, snack it may be. This for is me. an issue in our relationship that's coming to light right now. Mm -hmm. And it's how about, about, it's about how we open snack bags. But seeing this monstrosity made me think of it. I don't even want to share snacks with Right here, anyway. like when you pull that shit down the side. I would 1,000 times out of 1,000 open that with the pinch, pinch, pull at the top and go up to the top. Also, additionally, once you set him in motion, he will not stop. When you open it like that bullshit, there's no easy way to turn it over and do the crumb thing at the end. A lot of bags that do offer the rip tab at the top, okay. they make it very difficult to pinch, pinch, pull, like the glue will That's be very That's exactly hard. why I use scissors on mm -hmm. the glue chicken. So there are some times where I will, as a 250 pound man, relatively in shape with a decent amount of lean muscle mass, it can be very difficult to open those bags that way, but I will not relent and I will make sure they open that way. I will, I will open that glue top. He's gonna die on this hill right now. So. <sighs> wow, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I had something, I forget what it was. Let's get back to this stupid ass video. No, 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 God, please, no. It's one of these. 
Oh, come oh, on. Oh, yeah. Just intentionally to piss people off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that would legitimately upset some people, I think. Yeah. Some people that need things to be very uniform. Oh, no. It's a compilation? Yeah. Oh, God, the song. What is that? Oh no! There you go. No. What? No. Ah, oh, that's the worst. Yogurt lids. Are, oh god. What? That's that, not. That's, come on. That's not safe. I mean, that I understand. You know. That. Honestly, the hardest part about that video is the. Song, dude. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we're not gonna keep playing it. Either. I'd be curious if that would get copyright claimed, honestly. Should keep that in just to see. <laughs> well, satisfying ones. Bank. Nope. Nokia phone. Yeah, what do you think was gonna happen with that one? Yeah, very unsatisfying. <laughs> Or, speaking of popcorn. Speaking of popcorn, making blue popcorn. Is it bothering you yet? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still bothering you? Yep. <laughs> What's bothering you? Get in the middle, you mofo. <laughs> Move the spatula, you dummy. So I watched I'm this. I'm gonna hurt you. So I had watched this and I didn't know. I was like, what is infuriating about this? Really? I, I wasn't really paying attention, and then I went to the comments, and everyone is just bullshit. Stir the set out! Yeah, it's, it's, it's is killing. kicking in. Mix the middle. Yes. I saw nothing except for the fact you didn't stir the middle. Like, you do need to do the occasional scrape across yes. the center. Yeah, I do, I do agree. That being said, though, when you get to the end, love me some homemade popcorn. Also, making it in a pan that's not nearly enough, that whole thing must have been to piss people off, right? It's called Fry Popcorn and they have 385,000 followers. What? Oh my God. This looks like a TikTok account I could follow right here. You know, yeah. my, my obsession with popcorn. What are their shrimp doing on here? It's called uh, Fry. Ah, come on. What in the world? No, absolutely. All right, so this is again, it's not about being a chef. This is about just making dumb shit for the internet. Geek Squad mounted my TV to the sewer pipe. Bro, there's Come no on. way. No. <laughs> so obviously they didn't know the sewer pipe was there. They're just, they're trying to figure out where the stud is. So this is why you use metal stud finders, first of all, or like magnet stud finders. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the one I use because it would never catch on a PVC pipe, but they might've just went through. There are, there's also stud finders that you can like just, they're just metal like shanks that you poke through to try and find the wood. So they probably hit the pipe, thought it was wood. But did it, like, did they catch that metal up top, like that strip? True that, yeah, there is that metal wrap. That's That's gotta be like the basement wall. I don't wall. know, but this man's installed many TV mounts. I've installed so many TV mounts. Has not effed it up once don't yet. Don't think I've driven it into a sewer pipe. That could be very problematic though. I mean, it looks like it works in the meantime. Uh, that will eventually, you don't want there to be a screw hole, even if there's a screw in it, in the main sewage drain where all your poop's going. This happened to me, previous owners installed the medicine cabinet drilled into the sewage air pipe. The screws finally rusted enough so that the smell would seep out oh. and the house would smell like shit every time the water ran. Oh, here's an argument. I don't even know. My wife thinks it's completely fine to go to a sit down restaurant at 9.51 PM when they close at 10. Nope. Me and you will agree on this one. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely After not. having worked in the restaurant business for a mm. long time, just no. Especially I'm, if you're gonna sit there and take 30 minutes to figure out what you want to it's eat. It's a sit down restaurant. It's one thing if no. it's counter service, no problem. But at a sit down restaurant. But Leon, they close at 10 and it's 9.51. This is un undoubtedly, the conversations like this always split the room down the middle because sure. there's people that have never worked in the industry that are like, well then if they're open till 10, they're open till 10, I'll go with 9.59, you guys have been paid to work. You're an idiot. Literally the kitchen will be like, can you at least get their food order so we know, so we can close everything else up and hold their food order. And you'll be like, oh yeah, if I can just get you food order, that's fine. And they'll be like, uh, I'm not sure just yet. Just gonna take a look at the 28 page Cheesecake Factory menu. You. And on that note, this video, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next one, peace. <laughs>